What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode 17 of my Escape from Tarkov solo playthrough series. Last time, we did two shoreline scab runs. We got out on one of them, and then we ended up dying on the second one. But that second one, I watched it back. We barely missed that guy's face. We literally, like, shot him, like, right in the forehead where his helmet was. Like, we barely missed. He got really lucky. I don't know what those guys were doing. Like, sitting there. It's really strange. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, we're gonna do a PMC run right away because our scav is on cooldown. I'm able to record more than one episode for the first time. And one day so it's really nice I'm able to get ahead now because i've just been really busy i haven't had time to record multiple episodes in a day i've just been doing one a day um but uh yeah anyways um i did restart my game i want to see if the water collector can get installed because it was done constructing but it wouldn't let us there we go now we can install it okay that's good so then we can do this upgraded just need to buy the stuff all right so we can upgrade that so now in three hours we'll be able to produce the 60 round ak mags which we need for a task and then i did start crafting some more of these because we have the med case now so we can kind of just keep uh producing these non-stop and then so yeah we can throw that in there i feel like i want to do something else too but oh yeah med station level two um just need two more hours on that then we'll be able to make the morphines which we need for a task so that will be good once that's done and then yeah our stash is all looking nice and neat so uh yeah let's figure out where we want to go we can either do interchange or we can do the shoreline one um i'm thinking not sure actually we can interchange because eventually we will get um kill scabs at shoreline so we can like knock out these ones and the kill scab at shoreline one at the same time because this is the only thing to do at shoreline whereas interchange we have two things to do then after we do this we'll keep getting things to do at interchange and then we also need to kill pmcs or us usex so we can do that here and then i think after we unlock this one is where we do all this sh other shoreline shit so yeah we'll wait on that and um yeah let's go to interchange so we gotta check out these stores i think i remember where they're at but i'll figure it out too in a second and we'll figure out a route um, yeah so we're queued up for an interchange run we got to go to the stores at interchange i remember which ones to go to i was right it was the um well i didn't tell you guys but um there's two like big stores near the front entrance right and left um on like the idea side and the alley side and then there's a store like farther down by idea that you go to that's like kind of by one of the bigger stores the two bigger stores that i just said and then there is the two stores like there's two octagons like the two like circles like that separate the second floor from the first floor. It sounds really confusing, but uh, I know what I'm saying. It'll make more sense when you get in the game, but so there's the two octagon areas. You wanna go to the two stores on each. There's a store on each octagon. There's the one octagon. You wanna go to the back, so closer to the Goshen, and then to the alley side. So it's like, if you're looking at the map that like most people look at, it's like the bottom right of each octagon. And I think that's all the stores, I'm pretty sure. I think there's what, five of them? That we gotta go to if there's six i don't know where the six one's at but uh, yeah, it'll make sense all right so we're on interchange idea side so, yeah we're gonna run into idea it's been a while since i've been in this map actually hit this up before going in <laughs> why not hopefully we don't get shot all right i feel like we were really slow on getting in so isn't there another stash, like, right here? Maybe not. So I'm gonna go in through the, like, main, main entrance. Yeah, so this is what I mean when there's a store. Like, yeah, the main entrance. There's a store on the left, and there's a store on the right that we need to go to. So here's one of them. And there's another store. I think that's it. Like closer to I uh, idea. Yep. All right. And then, um, yeah, we'll go back this way. Or actually, go to the one hexagon or octagon. I mean, I hate doing this task because it makes you like go routes you normally would never do. <laughs> so it's gonna be kind of hard to predict where people are at um, and stuff like that. All right, um, so we gotta go to that store right there right in front of us. Okay, 
Now we need to go to the other octagon. It's this store right here. Yep, nice. So now we just gotta do that one other store. Like we went left out of the stairs, we had to go right. Try to go like back to the entrance. This is where it can get spicy. <laughs> There's a lot of loot in here. There's just so many places you can get shot from. I think we just gotta go across this way. Oh, maybe one to the right. Um, I don't think anything spawns in here. There we go. So I think we won everywhere. Let's just double check. Yep. Alright, so we just gotta leave. And it's either no one went here or... They didn't bother picking anything up. Someone hit all these up. I was trying to think of um, the way out, um, where everything leads to. this way. Just sucks because you can't ADS as long as you used to be able to. They just changed it. Alright, let's go. I feel like I hear someone, but I, I really don't know. Alright, now the fun part. Alright, not bad. Kill the one scav, I think. Might have been a player scav, I don't know. Then we got shot at by other dudes, I don't know who was shooting us, but we survived. We got our task done. A scav, I think it was a player scav, I want to say. It kind of looked like one. Kind of played it off like he was one. Yeah, we survived. That's all that mattered. We got another Toshanko, which is good. Need to start stockpiling on those. We got some more capacitors. I'm not sure how many we need for the task, but we got some more light bulbs. So it's five wires and five capacitors. So we are done with the capacitors. So that is good. Um, didn't we find a G phone? Just one. We got one. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> In our hot bar. And I'm pretty sure we're done with G phones too. Yeah, we need three. 
and we got three so that's good nice all right very good so uh yeah and then once i'm done with them i'll move them to the bottom that way we know if they're good same thing with the capacitors we got five so good on these still need flash drives circuit boards heat exchange batteries spark plugs wires and rechargeable batteries all right very nice very nice all right so we will scav run at shoreline and try to look for morphines and a whole bunch of other stuff that we might need Right, so we are at the resort, which is pretty nice. Let's see, did we get anything good? Nope. All right, that end and road to customs, okay, so we got two options. Not bad. Ooh, we can actually hit up the computers and get CPU fans here. So yeah, we'll do it. we're gonna do that right now. That's what we need. Ooh, that's good too. Okay. Okay, um, I don't know. <laughs> I guess they have that. That's the obvious one. Spark plug, nice. Um, sure. Let's get out of here.
don't think we need these. So I'm gonna swap those out. I think RAM is pretty good. Um, the tape is pretty good too, I think. Do that. We don't need uh, that bandage or whatever. I'm gonna go like right here. We're already out. Alright, not bad. We got wires and CPUs, so that's good. Pretty easy to find though, but progress is progress. Alright, so let's see how many wires we got. So we got five wires now. We don't need to find any more wires. We can sell the capacitor. Um, circuit boards. We need, I don't know how many of these we need. We need three, so we need one more of those. These we're good on, I think. Yeah, we need to find two, and we got two now, so that's good. CPUs, I think we need to keep. Yeah, we need to find three of them, so that's good. Mayo, we already have some, I think, somewhere. Yeah, we already got mayo, so we can sell this one. Power cords, we need to find two of them. Um, wires, we don't need any more of these. We can sell these, sell these, sell. Spark plugs, we need to keep. We can turn in the CPU fans. All right, cool. Yeah, so this one, turn those in. Actually, we're done with power cords. <laughs> My bad. Don't need to keep them. So yeah, we can just sell the rest of this shit, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so I just sold everything from that scav run. And um, yeah, I'm gonna call the episode there. I really appreciate the watching. That was episode 17 of my Escape from Tarkov solo playthrough series. This episode, we went to Interchange for the first time. Uh, we got the task done there. Actually, we can turn it in. We never turned it in. Yeah, we can turn that in. Very nice. We got some more. We'll worry about those later. But uh, yeah, I really appreciate the watching. So we did that task at Interchange. We also scaved at Shoreline. Got some stuff for some tasks. And um, yeah, we're just gonna keep grinding this out and um, eventually get the Kappa. Really appreciate the watching and uh, thanks again peace out yo thanks for watching be sure to check out the rest of the channel and the other playthrough episodes i stream on twitch so check that out as well join the discord and if you want to see more videos similar to this one be sure to subscribe also leave a like and if you have any questions comments or concerns leave a comment in the comment section below thanks again peace